Hi everyone, this is attorney Ayhan Akman and today I'm in front of you to share with you one of the latest news we have. As you know, this week um, Senate actually confirmed Joe Biden to be the next president of the United States and Joe Biden and his administration will take actually the presidency starting January 20th. Since the confirmation of this you know, news, uh, we actually wanted to discuss what's going to be now with the Joe Biden's administration, especially about immigration. Comparing during the Trump administration uh, uh, time there has been so many changes you know so many policies so many restrictions towards immigrants towards immigration policies and seeing all those changes now the Joe Biden administration actually will take uh, the, you know their job and then will start in January 20 and Joe Biden and his administration had been uh, actually proposed and say that what's their plan for the next 100th day after they take you know the presidency we would like to kind of discuss this because we've been getting so many questions from our followers so what's going to happen now you know for the public charge is this that going to continue or what's going to happen with the naturalization process what's going to happen with the asylum process what's going to happen with immigration or people to get a green card what's going to happen with the lottery process so we've been getting so many different questions where we see that our followers have been kind of worrying about what's going to happen with all those changes or the things that uh, Trump administration has started and planning to do and then what's going to happen with when Joe Biden's administration takes over. What we're going to talk about right now of course you have to understand is a proposed roadmaps by Joe Biden administration so we don't know for certain if all those things are going to be happen or or going to be possible to do it but we see that the Joe Biden administration had actually stated that they are planning to do those things for immigration in their uh, you know, next uh, first 100 days. So let's start with the initial things and, uh, and then so we can talk about point by point about what Joe Biden administration will do. Joe Biden and his administration actually uh, proposed that as soon as they start actually uh, their job what they're going to do is they're going to end Trump administration's cruel and senseless uh, policies especially about the separations of children especially with the policies separating children from their parents at the border and as you know during the Trump administrations we had seen actually scenes where kids were put under you know in the cages and where the kids were not able to see their you know parents for weeks months and end of this you know separation there were some kids they were never able to find their parents so Biden administration says they going to end that they're not going to let that happen again and another thing that the Biden administration saying that they will do it they definitely change the policies about getting you know families in trouble with the minor immigration violations so that actually makes them being you know ended up separating from their families so they're going to change that they're not going to allow uh, just the, because of the minor you know the immigration violation for parents to be separated and Biden administration will do their saying they will add actually Trump's asylum policies as soon as they start their job. And basically what they want to do is they wanted to actually make sure that the U.S. continues to welcome asylees and refugee seekers and they want to make sure that they protect people who are fleeing from persecution and cannot return their home to be safely stay in the U.S. During the Trump administration, uh, Trump administration changed the policies about asylum part, especially for people who were persecuted by gangs and for people actually who were subject to domestic violence, you know, through their spouse or family. Uh, basically, Trump administration stopped those people to you know get the asylum status in the US so the Biden administration says that they will change that they will allow those people to be able to you know safely stay in the US and basically Biden administration says they will do definitely they will and to mismanagement of the asylum system. They will make sure that there's no complications or chaos happening at the border. Uh, they're also saying that they will make sure that they provide humanitarian resources to those people, especially asylum and refugee seekers, and not like what the Trump administration has been doing, you know, limiting uh, people actually at the border and then limiting their uh, how many applications they can file and keeping them in the another country at the border. So they are saying that they're going to change that. And they also say that they're going to end prolonged uh, detention and reinvest in a case management program. As you know, the Trump administration had been leaning towards more detaining people than actually allowing them to 
be outside and actually continue their cases without being detained uh, so they're basically saying that they're going to change that uh, as you can see Biden administration is, uh, especially would like to change so many things in the asylum process especially what Trump administration had been done in those areas another important point where uh, you know Biden administration promised to do is they're saying they will end the public charge rule uh, they are actually going to end this um, you know Trump's public charge rule uh, as you can see that the public charge rule it was about actually limiting people or denying people to get the green card or uh, you know to get a uh, immigrant status in the US if if the officer thinks that the person will be hurdled on the US government basically a Biden administration is saying that this is not the way to deny people especially if the person needs a health you know uh, health insurance or if the person needs a, needs needs any help through the, for their health for education and if they're getting any help from the government they should not be denied uh, to get a green card or they should not you know, refrain themselves from getting actually help from the uh, government for their health issues uh, rather than actually dealing with it so basically I want you to understand this part public charge had created actually issues within the immigrant community especially even during the pandemic where people were worried about getting tested worried about getting health you know a sport because they assume that if they do that they might actually deny access to uh, green card process down the road so that's kind of made them scare and stay away from there so the Biden administration is saying that this is not right this should not be being this way people should be able to get those helps and another important thing is you know the Trump's signature policy was about building a wall and because he was not able to get the funds for that so he declared national emergency where he used the fastest funds to build the wall so basically Biden administration saying they will stop that they will and the taxpayers money to go to this to, to build a wall instead they will create a better efficient system to protect the or borders another actually important point is as you know the Trump administration created a, a Muslim ban so-called it was the ban you know it was a travel restriction towards the Muslim co people and communities uh, Biden administration says as soon as they started their job they will definitely cancel the Muslim ban because they say this is not what the US about US uh, it's it should not actually ban people based on their religious or ethnicity and this is not a right approach to make our country safer to make our country safer we're going to definitely remove this ban another uh, important point that uh, Biden administration says that they will definitely actually order an immediate review of uh, temporary protected status uh, TBS that which is giving to countries uh, it's the citizen of a countries where there's a war or there's a you know uh, national emergencies happening so because of that they're gonna uh, review that and make sure that uh, they provide enough protection to people who need it and Biden administration will actually uh, were planning to restore sensible enforcement priorities the, during the Trump administration people were just being targeted even if they were not criminal even if they were not convicted so we are not going to do that they say you know or administration says we're not going to target people who are not convicted of any crimes and we just don't want people to be afraid of going to actually getting a medical attention going to school you know getting their job or going their worship of uh, their place of worship so we're not going to target those people we don't want those people to feel scared uh, when they are actually just getting a you know medical attention another important point that Biden administration says is they're definitely going to ensure ICE and CBP personnel abide by professional standards and actually they held accountable during the Trump administration we see that they were actually kind of uh, sported towards behaving badly towards immigrants actually uh, you know and knowing that they will not be held accountable so Biden administration says they're definitely going to change this and they definitely want to make sure that they're accountable for the, for the actions that they do and another important point during the Trump administration we see that the naturalization process has been very actually difficult for green card holders for permanent residents and so for them to become a US actually national a US citizen so we see that the naturalization process especially when they had an appointment at the USAS office uh, were more stricter and then they were given harder you know harder time 
and, and things have been delayed so so it's it's delaying time actually to naturalize in the u.s so the biden administration says that they're going to add that they're going to make sure green card holder gets the citizenship naturalizations that they deserve quicker and efficiently and and definitely change those policies that trump administration has brought another important point that biden administration is saying they're definitely going to support the immigrant entrepreneurships and they're going to make sure make sure that there's an increased access to language actually institutions where the communities can grow uh, and they're also mentioning one thing here they're saying is usually immigrants are the ones they're driving the economy they're driving to uh, actually uh, manufacturing so we definitely need those ideas and those individuals and and to, to be welcome in the us another point the biden administration is making saying definitely we'll be starting again welcoming actual immigrants into our communities making sure that what the study of liberty you know stands for and we're going to make sure that um, immigrants are welcome so because of that there's we don't see any plan that they will be canceling the lottery program that every year you know brings thousands of immigrants to the u.s so as you can see uh, biden administration is going to be pretty busy uh, actually changing these policies implementing them uh, especially during the trump administration there have been so many changes so many restrictions difficulties towards immigrants immigrant nations you know immigrant people uh, and policies so because of that of course we're gonna all gonna see what the biden administration really gonna end up doing but they're saying basically for the last well, uh, one more point also they're saying that they're gonna make sure they actually get a roadmap in the place and make sure they're going to work with the senate with the congress to start the legitimate way of uh, making sure that uh, 11 million undocumented people actually gets their status and to be able to be part of the u.s so the biden administration uh, especially is uh, you know mentioning that they want to modernize americans immigration uh, system and they want to make sure millions of these undocumented people actually get the status they deserve they've been working under the shadow of all those years helping the communities and they do deserve to be part of the u.s community so this is why that's the last thing they're saying that they're planning to do and we're all going to see if the biden administration is going to be successful of doing these things but we know one thing is that they, they're going to be very busy you know changing the trump administration policies uh that have been in place and so that's going to be pretty busy time for them but as soon as there's any changes anything that happens in the immigration system we will share with you uh, and we're all going to see what the biden administration uh, you know eventually will be able to do it so i hope this news last minute news helps you guys and have a great day and talk to you soon